tis the season to procrastinate, or at least if you're me, you do. You procrastinate in buying your gifts, and then you get into a panic as the deadline rapidly approaches for that perfect gift. Well, fear not, my friends. Your boy is here to help. We're going to do a last-minute gift guide for that guy on your list. With only a week or less until Christmas, I tried to make sure all the gifts on this list were either things that most of you could go out and purchase locally so you could avoid shipping, which is a disaster this time of year and could make your gift late, or available places like Amazon with one or two day shipping so you can get it really fast. Or at least it was one or two day shipping in my area. I can't verify if it's gonna be in yours, but hopefully so. This list is definitely geared toward the guys on your list, but there's plenty of stuff on here that I'm sure there's some ladies out there would love to get it also. We've got a lot to go over, so we gotta get cracking. But before we do, I wanna say thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Clocks and Colors, because they are giving you guys a Christmas gift of their own by doing a pretty awesome giveaway. It's gonna be a $500 gift card to their site. And because I'm feeling festive, feeling the Christmas spirit, so to speak. I'm also going to throw in one of my hoodies and a hat from my line of gear. If you haven't heard of Clocks and Colors, what rock have you been under, my jewelry-deprived friend? Clocks and Colors makes pretty much the only jewelry I wear. I don't wear any other jewelry. Other than watches. And my watches. But other than that, Clocks and Colors is it. The most recent additions to my collection, uh, actually I actually have on today, was this guy right here. This one's called Safe Harbor. Has all these really cool like uh, engravings on it. All that kind of nautical stuff. I also added this piece that I'm wearing today. Another little piece of turquoise to my collection. I'm just, I'm a sucker for turquoise. I love a good turquoise ring. And this one is called Desperado. They recently came out with some stuff in gold and I added one of those to my collection called Cinder. I got that one for when I'm wearing my gold watch. I really wanna embrace my inner gangster, feeling a little bit of that Sopranos energy that day. It's my pinky ring. It's very sweet. They're made of quality materials super badass designs and they're solid it's none of this like hollow crap i've in the past tried some rings from other companies and they're hollow and they're kind of pieces of shit these guys solid sterling silver handcrafted badassery so contest rules are as follows you're gonna have to comment down below hashtag clocks and colors hashtag christmas badassery then you're gonna click the link down below and sign up for clocks and colors mailing list everyone that signs up is going to automatically get a 40 dollar gift card and that's it Easy peasy lemon squeezy. One week from the upload of this video, Clocks and Colors will pick a winner. Thanks again to Clocks and Colors for having this awesome giveaway right here at Christmas for you guys and sponsoring the video. Good luck to everybody. Got a lot to go over, so let's get cracking on this last minute Christmas list. You guys know this guy can't make a list without including two of my favorite indulgences in life. And that is whiskey and or cigars, or preferably both. Not gonna spend a ton of time on suggesting a specific bottle. I just recently did a whole video, which I will link. Which side do the links come up on? I think it's this side. That'll give you a bunch of suggestions on whiskey bottles. We went into depth in that video. As for cigars, can't go too deep into specifics on that one either because, well, YouTube will demonetize this video as they have become the official fun police, unfortunately. If you need specific suggestions, I do have several videos on my other non-monetized channel, Jeremy Sires After Hours. I'll link that below also. Go check that out. Tons of videos on there with cigar reviews and stuff, and you should probably find some good suggestions over there. The good thing about cigars and whiskey is because of the vast selection in both categories, you can find a gift no matter what your budget. Also, almost everyone can find both locally, so they always come in clutch for that last minute gift. I don't know how many times I've been on the way to like a party of some nature and we needed a gift. Swing in a liquor store, bottle of whiskey, Bob's your uncle. And like I've mentioned many times before, sometimes people in that hobby, getting them a bottle or a cigar isn't always the best thing. Getting them a accessory for the hobby is good. So things like ashtrays, whiskey glasses, flasks, cigar cutters, any stuff like that. Just what happens, your boy, I make a lot of that cool shit. So definitely go check the website out down below. We have lots of cool stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to get it before Christmas. If you order it soon, you might be able to. Exclusive does a really great job. They usually ship same day. So depending on where you live, maybe. But also if you can't get it in time through me, you can go to local stores. But sometimes accessories for those hobbies make really good gifts. So the next thing on the list is not only a gift for the person getting it, but it's also a gift for the other people in their lives because smelling good is a gift everyone can appreciate. 
Now, I know not all guys are into cologne, but if they're not, they should be. Because smelling good just makes you feel good. Everybody around you appreciates, nobody wants a stinky ass. Always makes you feel good, a little, little bump of self-esteem, get a little compliment from the ladies. I've, I've never met a lady that didn't like a guy that smelled good. Smelling good is always good. I have guys that say stuff on the channel. Like, I gotta wear cologne. Girls like a guy that smells good. What? You want a girl to snuggle up to you, she's not gonna snuggle up to you if you smell like an old bag of Fritos. Like, come on, man. Since everybody likes varies greatly from person to person, but I'm gonna give you a few of the ones that I particularly like, some that I have in my collection, and also they tend to pull compliments from the ladies. I least. wanna know what it, ladies it, are giving it, you compliments. At least my wife. She's the only lady that matters. These are ones that my let me re refresh. These Who are else ones that is complimenting you? these are ones that my wife likes. <laughs> For people that are into colognes, they're gonna know this one, and this one actually gets a little hate for a very weird reason. It gets a little hate because too many people like it. <laughs> is that the dumbest shit you've ever heard? People hate on it because everybody likes it. So I don't understand that whole theory, but point is, the shit smells great. I've never met anybody that didn't think this stuff smelled good, and that is Dior Sauvage. Sauvage comes in several different versions. There's an Eau de Parfum, or Eau de Toilette, Toilet, Toilet? Is it? <laughs> it's not Toilet, it's Toilette, I think it's how you... I usually say EDP and EDT because it's just easier because my redneck mouth does not like saying that shit. Eau de Toilette, I think it's how you say it. Toilette, eau de toilette. Okay, you know what I'm trying to say. EDT, EDP, and then there's a, just a parfum. They're all very fresh, clean smelling scents with a little bit of like a muskiness underneath to make it masculine, a little bit of wood. But basically it's that standard crowd pleasing, fresh, clean, nice smelling stuff. Depending on the age of the person you're buying it for, the EDT leans a little younger. The EDP and the Parfum are both a little richer, a little deeper. So they might, if you have an older person you're buying it for, you might want to go that route. My personal favorite though is the newest of the line, which is Sauvage Elixir. I think this one actually of the line is the deeper, richer, kind of more refined, mature smelling of the group. Not that somebody younger wouldn't like the Elixir, but definitely somebody 30 up, I think the Elixir is the better of the three. Very similar to the Sauvage is, and this is another one. Let me get my mouth ready. That's what she said. Don't you dare. Now, the way this is spelled is Yves Saint Laurent. You just say Wyatt though. But I think it's pronounced Yves Saint Laurent. I think it's how it's pronounced. Yves Saint Laurent, I think. Some people say YSL regardless. Why? Again, they have different versions of this. They have the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. I like the EDP. I think this is the best of the deal. Not too dissimilar from the Sauvage. Fresh, clean, mass appeal. Anytime you see any of these like blind smell off things online, girls always rate this one very highly. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Both the Y and these um, Sauvage about 100 to $200 a bottle, depending on what size bottle you get. Switching over to one of my favorite brand or whatever you want to call it of colognes, Tom Ford. That dude makes some good stuff. Now you're going to go up a little bit in cost on these. These generally, just depending on the size of the bottle, are going to be 150 to 250-ish. Tom Ford Beau De Jour. This is what they call a Fougier? Fougier? Fougier. <laughs> Fougier? Is it Fougier? Fougier. I don't know what, I don't know what you're saying. Fougère. I think they call this a fougère. Is that like the cheese? <laughs> no, it's not a cheese. A What's that cheese? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But a fougère, I think, is how you pronounce it, is a category of colognes that are like barbershop colognes. Clean, manly. Imagine a guy that just got his hair cut, got a nice fresh fade. They powdered him up, and he came out the barbershop. Like it's kind of an old school classic man scent. Definitely younger guys could pull it off, but I think this is definitely a little bit older, more mature scent. I love this stuff. It's one of my favorites. It's got some lavender in it, some green floral notes. It is fantastic and it's strong. It's a formidable scent. It stings the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Not in a bad way, but like it hangs in there and it's got some stay. Good eight, 10 hours. You can smell the stuff. Also from Tom Ford, 
one of my favorites. Again, leans a little more mature. Definitely for a younger guy, I could pull it off, but I feel like older guys are definitely gonna like this. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. It's a very warm, spicy, very leathery, hence the ombre leather. You can definitely get some hints of leather in here. I'm a big fan of that kind of thing, and I love this stuff. Ombre leather, one of my favorites. If you wanna drop some real coin, on someone and buy them a bottle of cologne that they probably wouldn't buy themselves because it's kind of dumb expensive. You know, you guys know who I'm, what brand I'm probably gonna bust out next. Creed. Now this stuff is more expensive than unicorn tears. So some people get a little pissy, at least $350 for a bottle of this stuff, around 50 ml. You can get up in the five, $600 range pretty quick for like the 100 ml bottles. And then the biggest bottle I think is like 700. I've never even bought one of the biggest ones. Nevertheless, if you got a guy that's into cologne, this is probably something he wouldn't treat himself to. So if you want to buy him something nice, this could be a good gift. Creed Aventus is probably what they're most well known for. It's also the one that kind of like the Sauvage, some people hate on a little bit because it's such a hugely popular fragrance. It's hugely popular for a reason. It smells great. Super fresh. It's got kind of this like fruity apple, pineapple, bergamot kind of thing going on, but with like a nice woody patchouli undertones. Got a little must to it, vanilla, some oak moss. It smells special. It smells expensive. Wouldn't you say like, that's the thing about when you smelled this, you were like, man, that smells good. That smells. It smells different than it's, anything else. Right. It's just, it's got a different vibe than your typical cologne. I don't know. There's just something about it. My personal favorite from Creed is not the Aventus. It is the murdered out bottle, which you would think would be a super dark because it's all black, but it's actually called Green Irish Tweed. Now this is one that's been around, I think this fragrance came out in like the mid 80s and it stood the test of time for a reason. It is that classic clean smell. It's a very green smell. Imagine if you were walking in the hills of Ireland. <laughs> in the countryside with a little <laughs> leprechaun running. No, I'm just kidding, that's super. People in Ireland are gonna be you, what's with the leprechauns? <laughs> <laughs> but it does. It's very masculine, very woody, um, but very green. It's got green floral notes in it. A little more refined because it's the Creed. All these Creed fragrances just have a little something special. I, I don't. What do you, you smell this? It's different. What do you think about this one? It's good. This is what I have on now. It's real good. I think a lot of colognes all smell very similar, and those just smell different. They do. They've just got a little something special. So. Aventus, Green Irish Tweed. There's also a bunch of other ones in the Creed line, but these are my two favorites personally. Some other honorable mentions of colognes real quick that I'm not going to go into, but just to mention them. Dolce Gabbana, the one, uh, the original Dolce Gabbana, both really good. Aqua de Gio, but not the OG, even though my wife has a particularly love the, the OG. Oh, that's what she used to wear. I know the OG, but that's like a connection you have with me because I used to wear it back in the day. The one that's actually more modern and more people like these days is the Aqua de Gio in the black bottle. It's the Perfumo. Tom Ford, uh, Noir Extreme, really, really good. So there's a bunch of good fragrances. Any of those, this is a girl watching this and you're going to go out and buy your, your significant other or something. Go out and smell a bunch of these. Whichever one gets you the most excited, put that under the tree if it makes you excited. I'm sure he'll love it. This is something that I have on me all the time. Constantly. I love this thing. For about 40 bucks, you can find them. For the, This is the 26 ounce size. They sell them on Amazon. They sell them at Ace Hardware. They sell them at Academy. I mean, they sell these things everywhere, so easy to pick up. But these Yeti, and these are the ones that, the reason I like these is they're the screw off with the bottle top. It's watertight. You close this. You don't have to worry about it spilling in your car. No stupid straw. You don't have to worry about the turtles, the <laughs> nose. So then you started using the metal straws. Then people started talking about if you fall, I could like impale your face. So then we went you to the plastic. Then I watched a video when a guy like swabbed that video I showed you. He swabbed the inside of a plastic straw and basically your ass crack is cleaner than one of those straws. Just f the cup in the straw. Just go with this. Screw off lid, bottle top. It's great. 26 ounces. Did y'all hear that? She always makes fun of me. She says I drink really loud. <laughs> I'm drinking louder than anybody else. Jesus. This 26 ounce, I feel like is a good size. It still fits in most cup holders, but it's got a decent volume where you're not refilling it all day. It's got this little handle on top for you to carry it. I put stickers all over mine because we all have them in this way. I know which one's mine, but solid gift. I was 
not gonna leave out my coffee lovers out there. This is a little gem I found on Amazon not very long ago, and I love it. This is a fellow French press, about $100 on Amazon. Fellow particularly always nails that like form and function. They do some really cool stuff to make it work really well, but it also just the design of these, everything Fellow does looks really sharp. Super well made, the walnut accents, it's double insulated, so it keeps your coffee warm. That's the thing about a lot of the glass French presses, like the coffee gets really cold really quick in it. This is double insulated, so it holds the heat really, really well. It's enough volume for like me and the wife, because we both drink very large cups of coffee. We can both drink one really large cup of coffee out of this, or you could have multiple smaller cups. I just think it's really cool. I love it. Fellow does good, good stuff. Now, if you're big into coffee, Fellow also has something called the Ode Grinder, which I recently got back a couple months ago when our old grinder took a dump. I love it. They are like 255 bucks on Amazon, so they're not the cheapest things in the world. Again, Fellow nails form and function. It is not only one of the best looking grinders I've ever seen, but it's also just a really good grinder. It's got 64 millimeter flat burrs. It's a single dose grinder, so you only put the coffee in it that you want to uh, grind at the time, which is nice because if you switch coffees a lot, you don't have to worry about the extra coffee being in there. Put what you want, it grinds through, automatically stops when it's done grinding. Bob's your uncle. It also has a big wheel on the front, so it's super easy to adjust for different brew types, all the way from like pour over type thing, all the way up through very coarse for like French press, stuff like that. It's also really quiet, which is, I really appreciate and my wife really appreciates. Yeah, because if you get up in the morning, the last thing you wanna hear first thing and you're half asleep is Oh my God, it's so horrible. This one is nice and quiet. It's got a cool little magnetic catch cup that like, Little features like that, what Fellow does really well. That would be a great gift for somebody that's into coffee, or you get them the French press and the grinder together in a bundle. That's if they're really somebody good. That'd be a super special gift. If they're real special. If they're real special. <laughs> you get them a $100 fucking French press and a $300 grinder. Yeah, that's a nice ass gift. I'd be pumped about that. You guys knew I wasn't gonna get through a gift guide without talking about knives, being that I am a huge knife guy. Both of these I found on Amazon for like 80 bucks, next day shipping. These are both Civivi knives. And when I found these, I was like, holy crap, because one of my favorite knives on the planet is the Protec Malibu. I love that knife. Also the one that I almost always have in my pocket, Protec TR3. I'm a big fan of Protec, but Protecs are very expensive. 250 to four or 500. I mean, Protex get very, very pricey. And a lot of their models, like the operators and stuff like that are super hard to get. One of my favorite things about the Malibu is the button lock. Fidget factor on the Malibu is like 25. It is the most fun knife in the world to play with. So when I saw these Civivis that had button locks for 80 bucks, I was like, oh, I gotta see this. There's no way this is gonna hold up to the Protec. And I'll say, it's so close. It might not be quite the level of a Protec, but I mean, there's a huge price difference, right? These are 80, you're talking a couple hundred bucks, 250, 300 bucks. So it may not be quite, but man, it is, I mean, it's so close. It might even be as good and my brain just doesn't want it to be as good because the Protecs are such nice knives. The first one, this is the Cogent and this one is the Chevalier, I think is how you pronounce it. Both my Carta scales, both have 14C28N steel, both about a three and a half inch blade and about almost eight inches overall length. My perfect size for EDC. A little bit of different design. This one's got more of a sheep's foot and this one is a clip point. The, the Cogent's a little more tactical looking in its scale design where the Chevalier is a little more clean, plain. Both of these are full flat grinds. So they're gonna be super, super slicey. Came with a great edge on them. I mean, I can't think of any knife guy that is gonna be bummed out about getting one of these. And the thing about button locks that I like, not only is it fidgety, but your hand's out of the way, right? So when you release it, it drops, and your fingers, unlike frame locks and liner locks where you have to, your fingers in the this just, whoop, closes. Great. Shifting gears again. This is one of these things, because these are only like nine or 10 bucks a piece, this could be everything from, you could get one as a little stocking stuffer, you could buy the whole line of them and it could be a nice little gift. But the Meat Church Rubs, 
Uh, I've talked about these a bunch of times on my channel. If you got a guy that's into barbecues and smoking stuff, you can get these things at Ace Hardware, Academy, Bucky's. You should be able to find them somewhere locally. They're just some of the best rubs out there. I love them. They're great. Matt Pittman, the guy that makes them out of Texas, he's a good dude. He has a YouTube channel himself. This uh, Holy Voodoo is one of my favorites. This shit is good on everything, but he's got a whole line of them for depending on what you're trying to do, there's a rub out there for any of them. Buy one, two, a whole line of, I think he's got 10 or nine or 10 of them out there. You could buy them all and make a little bit more substantial gift out of it. Meat Church Rubs. I know what you're thinking, Jeremy. I'm not gonna get my husband a Nerf gun. It's not a Nerf gun, damn it. It's a bug assault. It's totally different. <laughs> best thing ever. It isn't it? It's the best thing ever. If you do any kind of barbecuing outside or you spend any time outside in the summer or flies or even in your house, this thing is basically like a shotgun for bugs. You load table salt in up here and it basically shoots a little burst of bug buckshot out at them. It uses salt like birdshot and just obliterates bugs. Bug Armageddon, this thing, okay? You murk a few, I'm telling you, I got a pow. They like tell their friends. They do, they like, the word spreads. You go out there and you murk about five or six flies real quick and they're all like, this guy's <laughs> serious. The fly swatter I'm not afraid of, this guy's bringing out the heavy artillery. You can kill spiders, bees, all kinds of shit. I'm telling you, like 50 bucks, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, Ace, Hardwell, Ace Hardware carries them. Staying with the same kind of guys who are into cooking and smoking and barbecue and stuff like that. A good chef knife. This is Dow Strong is the company that makes this. This is their eight inch Shogun series chef knife. It's one of my favorite knives. I use this knife more than just about anything other than my boning knife. I love it. You can get them on Amazon for about 125 bucks. They're Damascus, Japanese, Aus 10V, I think is the steel these are made of. A super, super sharp. They have an eight, 10 inch, but this one, I like the size of this. It's big enough for most things, but it's not so big, it's unwieldy. It's got black G10 scales with uh, really nice little details in the handle grip. I think any guy would be pumped. I think actually somebody got me this as a gift and I was excited when I got it. Dow Strong. Shogun series chef knife. Now, last but certainly not least, if you got a knife guy, he's got the chef's knives, he's got the pocket knives, and I've done a video on this also, so I'll link it up above if you want to see more details on it. But WorkSharp is a company that makes a lot of sharpeners and they sell them on Amazon and you can usually get them within a day or two. The WorkSharp Precision Elite, about 100, 120 bucks. Fixed angle sharpener. So you set the angle you want for the knife and then it keeps you good and steady as you're going through. So even somebody who's not good at sharpening knives can be an expert at sharpening knives very, very quickly and easy. Keep all your pocket knife sharp. You can keep your kitchen knife sharp basically sharpen anything to a razor sharp edge on that thing. Get them something to keep all their knives good and sharp. I need a break. <sighs> that was a lot to go through. What's that saying? Don't wait, procrastinate now. <laughs> Christmas is on Sunday. So even if you screwed up and you're watching this video on like Thursday or Friday or Saturday, most of this stuff you can still go out locally and find. So hopefully this comes in clutch and it helps you out. Don't forget about the uh, $500 giveaway. The sponsors of today's video, Clocks and Colors, definitely go down below, click that link and sign up so you can get entered for that $500 gift card. Little after Christmas surprise. I think I'm gonna see you guys one more time before Christmas. So I'm not gonna say my Christmas goodbyes, my hope you have a safe new year stuff because the plan is to have one more video out. Merry Christmas in case I don't. <laughs> but that's, that's the goal is to have one more video out the very end of this week. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, feel free to smash that thumbs up button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week out there fighting the crowds, trying to get their Christmas shopping done. It's the most stressful time of year to shop. People everywhere, people going nuts. Be safe out there, be kind to each other. Hope everybody has a great week. And we'll see you in the next video. I really don't understand guys that don't like cologne though. Don't like it at all. Yeah, there's some guys that are like anti-cologne. You, you want to smell like something. Yeah, those guys probably smell like old feet and Cheetos. You know when you open a fresh bag of potato chips, it smells a little like a fart? Yeah. You don't want to smell like that. Well, no. <laughs>
<laughs> well, hopefully, if you're clean, you don't smell like that anyway. Hopefully, it'll smell like a fresh bar all the time. Damn. Might want to just start with taking a shower. <laughs> Step one, clean your nasty ass.